there are some incredibly special situations where you actually don't need to simulate all of the path. I'm talking, I've been talking about, oh, we simulate this path, right? We simulate the path and we calculate the payoff. Well, if it's a simple call option or something that's not path dependent, then actually we don't need to know, whoops, the bit in the middle. All we need to know is that value there. Okay? We don't need to know how it got there because it's not, if it's not a path dependent contract, it doesn't matter how it got there. There are sometimes <coughs> some situations where we can get from here to here in one go without doing, no, without doing a simulation of what happens every single time step. We can do it. Boom, boom. And those situations are when the random walk for the underlying is integrable. I'll show you what I mean. If we are dealing with DS is RS, remember the uh, risk neutral, RSD2 plus sigma SDX. If we're dealing with that, as long as um, R and sigma are independent of the stock price, then you can integrate it like this. Uh, if it's time dependent, then you just replace the, these things by integ you know, integrals of, over time. Um, you've integrated that. Oh, sorry, you've, you've used Ito's lemma. That's just Ito. That is easily integrated because the right-hand side hasn't got any S's in it, which would c complicate matters. So you just integrate it up like that. And then you just replace this, this random number here, with a normal distribution, a uh, random variable with a mean of, um, uh, sorry, with a standard deviation of root t. So that means the stock price at expiration comes from the stock price, it's just the stock price initially multiplied by some exponential of something with a single random normal variable in it. So you've, because it's integrable, we can do that giant leap. <coughs> the reason I mention that is, is if you have a portfolio in which you're only valuing things which are independent of the path, you don't need, as I say, you don't need this bit. You can just go straight to the end as long as the thing's integrable. If you have a contract that's, pa that's path dependent, even though this, the, this, the <coughs> random walk is integrable, it's no good doing this giant leap because you need to know what the stock price is in the middle of the path because the contract's path dependent. You need all the dots in between. So if you have an underlying asset with an integrable um, stochastic differential equation and you're valuing things which are independent of the path, then you can do this giant leap. Now why is this giant leap important? Because it's much faster than simulating because every day here you have to do one calculation for the simulation. And so that's going to be much, much slower than if you just do it in one giant leap. So it's about speed. And I mentioned speed now. We're going to be looking at the speed later on. Monte Carlo is famously slow. It's a slow numerical method. So anything that we can use to speed it up um, is good. <coughs> 